Our government has a vision. It's a vision of making BC the most progressive place for people with disabilities to live in in all of Canada. This vision can only be achieved by respecting and reflecting the needs and wants of people living with disabilities in our province. From December 3rd of this year until March 11th of next, we'll be engaging British Columbians in a province-wide conversation. Conversation on issues facing people with disabilities in the province. The ideas and solutions brought forward will be used to develop a white paper, a document that reflects the voice of British Columbians. It's about how we can increase accessibility and decrease barriers for people living with disabilities in British Columbia. While government clearly has a central role to play, addressing these issues is a shared responsibility. That's why we're working together with leaders in the business and disability communities. This approach is modeled after a pledge from the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities to ensure that any discussion of disability issues is done with the disability community. Nothing about us without us. The Minister's Council on Employment and Accessibility is a group of individuals from around the province who advise government on issues related to disability. Um, amongst our group are individuals with disabilities, parents of children with disabilities, representatives, representatives from not profit, from the business sector and from government. And we come together and look at issues and try and address barriers to employment, barriers to full participation in society by persons with a disability. The President's Group is a network of influential business leaders, champions of employment and accessibility for persons with disabilities. They will engage with businesses and employers in British Columbia throughout the consultation. The reason why I uh, decided to accept the invitation to be co-chair is, is diversity and disability um, issues are very, very important to us as a business, to me as a CEO, and I think to our economy and our society. I think it's really important to get the perspective of people with disabilities because they live this daily. Um, and all disabilities, not just um, some disabilities, but we want to hear from everyone who has something to contribute because we really think that, that this will enrich the discussion and enrich the outcome. This is an opportunity for all of us to share our thoughts, ideas and solutions for how we, as a society, can better support people with disabilities to live independent, full lives. The White Paper will become the foundation for a summit in June of next year. This is where we will bring together a diverse group of leaders to develop actions for addressing the issues facing people with disabilities in British Columbia. You know, thinking about diversity and inclusion and how to broaden the perspective that we have as businesses in terms of the communities we serve and in terms of our workplace and our employee base is today what the green economy and sustainability and environmental values were 10 years ago. And it's very important for, well first of all, for everyone in British Columbia to be engaged because everyone in BC is touched, is, is a part of the solution and has someone with a disability in their immediate circle. I encourage you to visit the website and find out more about how you can participate. You can share your thoughts and ideas online until March 11th and in January and February, we'll be hosting community consultations in over 15 communities across the province. We all play a role, family, friends, communities, employers, nonprofits, and the government in supporting people with disabilities to fully participate in our communities.